right. I got off work a little bit ago. I think I'm going to record some PvP. So, today's agenda is basically just to showcase a build that I, I run. This is pretty much my favorite build for, for PvP and for most of what I do in campaign. Um, there's a couple times I'll switch to one of the cheesy meta builds, like dual miniguns and dual stun needles or something. But that's just for cheesing bosses in campaign. I don't like to do that kind of stuff for PvP. But um, this is going to be a non-meta build. Not using aerial bombardment, not doing the uh, the dual miniguns or the dual stun needles, not using dual kinetic shotguns, not using laser pot. Well, there you go, um, dual kinetic shotguns. But uh, yeah, not using any of the the meta right now. These are actually the uh, the laser shotguns in this game, which I think are just like criminally underrated. Set an alarm for me in 30 minutes. Done. All right, cool. So I'll do a little PVP until that alarm goes off, and then uh, probably just post what I have at that point. Um, most of what I'm doing isn't necessarily playing my build as much as I'm playing my opponent. Um, one of the best things you can learn to do in games like Armored Core or any of the Souls games in PvP is uh, learn what the weapons are capable of, learn uh, how to avoid them, and learn how to read your opponent to know when he's going to try to uh, pull something to catch you. Like For example, when people typically run those uh, reverse joint legs, they're going to do one of two things. Like If they're running uh, missile launchers or anything like that, they're usually going to try to stay airborne. If they're running dual shotguns, they might do that, but most of the time they're going to use those reverse joint legs to try to jump and uh, like, like quick boost jump to get close to you while they're on the ground just so they can really quickly uh, disable you. This guy's running a, another variation of, of uh, the meta, at least on the right half. I can't quite tell what's on the left half. Looks like a plasma, uh, plasma thrower and something else. Um, the right half, he's got the meta laser pod and one of the meta rifles right now. That's for sure. 
Most people don't run that plasma thrower because it's it's just if you don't hit with that plasma thrower, you are super vulnerable for a moment. Especially like if somebody's launching uh, missiles at you or something. run the meta and they actually know how to play too, that, that makes things challenging. Uh, most people who run the meta basically just look up a build online and use that. Just go ahead and preemptively stop him from stunning me. I thought he was going to pull in, but he didn't. already picked up on it I uh, I typically just run max camera sensitivity I don't like to use the uh, the right joystick method to lock on to people uh, reason being is if you get used to relying on clicking in your right joystick and somebody breaks that uh, lock on then uh, you it, it's gonna take you a moment to realize they've broken the lock on and they're no longer on your screen and you're gonna have to try to figure out where they went if you didn't actually see exactly what direction they went to get off your screen um, now uh, if you're actually just uh, using the free lock on and you're running like max camera sensitivity or something then uh, you're, you're typically just you you don't suffer from that brief moment of vulnerability when your lock breaks and uh, it, it's much easier to keep track of your opponent most of the time. <sighs> All right. Nine Ball's actually uh, the name of one of the mechs from the old games. I wonder if that's what he's referencing. All right. Grenade launcher, moonlight sword, and two submachine guns. Interesting build. plays like an old school player. I don't know if he is or not, but he does play like one. Old school players are, are typically much more comfortable with getting close to you and being around you.
that's gonna hurt. There we go. Alright. Goodbye. Remember what the old nine ball mech actually used. Let me guess he's going to pull out something super cheesy. Also, I wonder if he realizes he misspelled his uh, name. So this, I'm going to assume since this AC's name is Mystic, that this is his typical main. Because it's named after his PlayStation tag. Stun guns, grenade launcher, can't quite tell what that other thing is on his back. Those stun guns are like very, very good, honestly. So are the, the needle guns. Not, not many people can really see what you're doing with the needle guns because you can't really see the projectiles from the... They only shoot like five, but they do have a decent amount of uh, ATS damage. I don't imagine that was him at his best. He, uh, he's probably going to be way better this round than he did last, that round. he did about the same, but uh, it feels like that match lasted longer. I don't know. But yeah, the, the projectiles from those stun guns are fairly quick, and they do a decent amount of ACS damage. More than what it actually shows on the gun when you look at it in uh, assembly. Alright, what changes did you make, sir? I still don't, don't even think I noticed what his uh, left shoulder weapon was last time. <clears throat> but, uh, I've been debating on uh, making some content about how to make good builds in Armored Core. Or... Uh, Oh, yeah, this guy's going for a cheesy meta build, reverse joint legs, dual stun needles, dual kinetic shotguns. <laughs> Literally everything in that build is meta. <laughs> he is he is not happy with me right now. Now, if he's smart, he's going to get above me when he uses those stun needles, which still might miss, but it's going to be hard to dodge. I'm keeping my distance. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's going to 
kill me. Yep, he got me. He's smart. He ran the uh, the boost kick and managed to disable me with it. I should have kept charging my guns. I would have got him. But I figured maybe I'd just evade him for a while and just shoot my default fire at him to get him. If I catch you with that laser lance first thing, it is so hard to recover from that. It just does so much damage. Oh, he closed his app, dude. He rage quit. There we go. All right. Big fat lurd. I love this dude's name. Now, when you're uh, when you're actually learning to PvP on this game, one thing I highly recommend is actually checking the builds you're about to go up against each time, so you can kind of get a feel for what you're you're about to have to deal with. Not necessarily to make any last minute changes, though sometimes you might need to to deal with somebody. But um, oh, this will be fun. Those dual grenade launchers are actually really, really effective if you know how to use them. Fortunately, this guy's using bipedal legs, which are gonna stop in place every time he tries to fire one of those. So whenever you use large explosions like that, it's, if, if you're going to be running kinetic ones in particular, they, they usually have a larger blast radius that is more impactful right when it hits. And if that's the case, the best thing you can do is launch them from above somebody so you can take advantage of that large blast radius. If you ever decide to use this uh, AC or a build like this, um, one thing to keep in mind when you uh, when you're charging all of your weapons and charging with the laser lance, you actually like charge it up to do the the lunge attack. 
Um, after the lunge attack hits, assuming it does, uh, typically you will have a moment to hit them with your charged laser shotguns. Um, if it doesn't completely stun them, they do have a chance to get out of it unless they're up against a wall. If they're up against the wall, it's going to be really, really difficult to get away because those have a fairly decent sized blast radius. And if they hit a wall behind somebody, it's, it's like impossible to get out of that right after the laser lance hits. Um, but um, if, uh, if they're completely disabled when the laser lance hits, they've got to have like a max uh, recovery, system recovery, I think is what it's called. I could be wrong on that. Um, but it's why I use the helmet that I, or the, the headpiece that I do. They, they need to have really high recovery to be able to recover fast enough to try to boost out of that. Or uh, they, they might have to do the purge thing. I've never actually tried to do the purge. Hello, Squeaker. Yes, we hear you. Um, but, uh, yeah, otherwise, like, it, it's really difficult to get out of that combo if you hit with it. Um, I forget where I was going with that, but, you know, I'll get there at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you use this combo and you're charging your three gun, then, uh... Grenade launchers? Nope, you didn't do your grenade launchers like I thought you were going to. Okay. There you did. Alright. So, uh... You always release your shoulder weapons right after the charge. You don't release your uh, handgun. The handgun, number one, takes slightly longer to fire than the shoulder cannons. It also has a smaller blast radius. And if you were to release all three, it would only fire the shoulder guns anyway. And you might risk just uh, firing your handgun at nothing. I would be very upset if I was that man right now. I would not be surprised if he just immediately left the lobby when he got back. Or like immediately loaded another mech. I think in that one, he just lost track of me in that close quarters, which is what I was trying to make happen. As soon as I realized he wasn't looking right at me with his miniguns, I started boosting around changing sides of him pretty, pretty rapidly. I figure once he's lost track of me, I need to maintain that as long as I can. Oh, shoot. No, I don't want to leave the uh, versus room. All right, well, he's done for the day. I wish there was like a good game thing instead of just good job. Most of my AC setups, by the way, are just like total and absolute memes. Um, I, I chose to change this one up and just kind of make it my gamer tag for this because I, I have no idea what is and is not acceptable on YouTube nowadays. I'm just really out of the loop on that. Yeah, if you're if you're interested on uh, if there's anything you'd like to see me create content on, like uh, how to create good AC setups and uh, how to uh, how to play against certain builds or opponents, you know, let let me know. I'll be happy to, to try to create some content.
I didn't really pay much attention to that guy's build. I saw he was using a missile launcher in his main hand. I didn't really pay much attention to anything else. I think I've played against this guy before. That name looks familiar. I may not have, but it, that does look really familiar. Raijin. It might have been Raijin I played against. I'm not sure. Wasn't today, but you know, in the past. All right. I'm just immediately ready again. Okay. Well, here we go. Don't worry, Raijin. I feel like you can do better, too. I, I definitely do not feel like that was you at your best. Especially if you're the, the Raijin that I fought before. Did he load another AC real quick, or did he just immediately ready back up? Let's see. Ah, uh, looks like the same one. Oh, that's the bullet thing that's on his right shoulder. I'm not sure what's on his left shoulder, to be honest. That might be the uh, pulse shield 401. I should probably feel bad for this, but because like I know this is a whole new generation of armored core players, or at least a lot of these guys are. But, like I, uh, I mean, they gotta learn somehow, right? things to be aware of if you do decide to try this build or to use dual laser shotguns as your shoulder weapons. Um, if you hold the, uh, the charge down after you fire or if you try to start holding it while they're recharging, like while they're, uh, they're uh, overcharged or whatever, and they're trying to reload. <clears throat> Sometimes if you're holding the charge button before they actually get reloaded, they will just not charge. I'm not sure why that happens. I haven't really been able to figure that out, but uh, sometimes that just happens, so make sure to wait to try to charge your shotguns, because they don't function like everything else that charges in this game. Sometimes they just don't charge if you try to charge them before they're reloaded. Um, they'll basically just sit there, and when you try to release the trigger or bumpers and try to charge them again afterward, sometimes you'll just shoot regular shots, and then they still won't charge. You have to, like, release stay released for a second or two and then press to get them to charge again. I'm not sure why that happens, but it seems to only happen with the shoulder weapons of the laser shotguns. Um, the other thing is if you release them both at uh, seemingly the same time, um, occasionally it will uh, occasionally it will uh, release one before the other and uh, they, they will not fire in unison. Um, I'm going to stop my recording here. I'm getting a phone call from my wife. I uh, will be back. <laughs> 